In today's video, we're going to talk about DC to DC converters. This converts the power produced by a solar panel and allows you to charge 12 volt appliances and even 12 volt inverters. So if you have a laptop and you don't want to buy an expensive solar battery, you could charge the laptop directly from a solar panel and then you can use the laptop battery to power USB devices such as a phone or lights and fans. So a lot of people in ultra portable solar situations such as bicycle touring or van dwellers, they could save a ton of money by using one of these converters instead of buying a battery. All you need is a converter and a laptop and some USB devices and you're set. And in my last video about this, we did the theory and the proof of concept. But in this video, we're gonna test how far we can push these converters. So the first test is we're gonna connect this 48 to 12 volt step down converter to 400 watts of solar panels. We're gonna run an AC induction load with an inverter, just with this, nothing else. Check out how simple this is. We have solar panels, converter, inverter, and the appliances or the load. So we have 400 watts of solar panels. These are in series. Those are in series, so we have an open circuit of around 40 to 43 volts, and we have it coming up to this converter, which has max input of 60 volts, has an output of 12 volts, and then we have a 12 volt inverter, and then it's gonna power these loads. So yeah, let's turn it on and see what happens. And both fans have turned on. I actually have to add a watt meter to see how much power this is actually producing. Now let's test the efficiency of this converter. And the top is the input and the bottom is the output. And the top one reads 147 to 150 watts going in. And the bottom has 130 to 140 watts going out. You can take instantaneous measurements by taking pictures. And I figured out that you get around 91% efficiency with this. If you have an open circuit voltage of 20 volts and it's converting down to 12 volts, you will actually have a conversion efficiency of 96%. This is the ultimate test now. We have two AC induction loads. We have my gaming slash video editing laptop right there that can consume 90 watts. We have this LED light right here and we are pulling 246.7 watts from this system directly from solar panels. There is no battery here. We have these solar panels directly connected to the converter and then directly to our appliances. Isn't that cool? Can you guys freaking believe it? This is so cheap and so easy to build. It's nuts. These solar panels are really cheap. The converter is cheap. I bought this from Harbor Freight for $39 and it does 750 watts. So this is great for people on an extreme budget. And you can easily use a laptop battery to power USB appliances and phones. So if you're really on a budget, you can just use the battery in a laptop. So it's great that these solar panels can power this load, but what happens if we shade one of the panels? It instantly turns off because there's not enough power. So you need all of the solar panels in full sunshine for this to work. You could probably still trickle charge the laptop with a smaller panel, but it really depends on which charger you're using. If you're using a cigarette lighter charger for your laptop, then you could use any size array. But you're better off making a big array so you have a constant source of power when it is sunny. But yeah, let's test this out real quick. Look at that. If you just cover up even a little bit of one of these panels, it's not going to be producing enough power for you. And for the final test, we're going to connect our system to a thousand watts of solar to see if it works. Check it out, guys. Isn't that amazing? And obviously the advantage of a battery over this is the battery can store the excess power. But like I said, if you're just trickle charging a small laptop, it's really good. And you can actually power AC induction loads. A lot of people said it was impossible, but check it out. And I ran this fan for like six hours yesterday with this system, so it actually works. Also understand that these things get hot when they're under use with large loads. This one is pretty toasty after we ran all of those loads for about an hour. So these are dead simple. You have an input where 24 or 48 volts goes in from the solar panels, and then you have an output. All you have to do is make sure that the open circuit voltage of your solar panel or solar panel array is less than the rated voltage for the input on this converter. I'll have some links in the description below on ones that I recommend. Also understand that these are rated at 30 amps or 20 amps for this one at the output. 
So you can connect this to a thousand or 2000 watt solar panel array as long as the voltage is within its input rating. So it's quite different than a solar charge controller where if you connect you know, a 3000 watt array to a 20 amp charge controller, it's probably gonna blow it up. With this, it's not so much because it's designed to work with an amp source or a battery. You can hook up as many panels as you want to it and then it will be limited to the amp rating on here at the output. And don't let these scare you. I know they look like weird electronics stuff but I promise if you just crimp the red and the black to the solar panels red and black and then you have the output to whatever device you want to power that's 12 volts it will work so yeah dead simple little DC to DC converters I hope you guys like this video and these are awesome if you have a small fan in a shed or a water pump in an aquaponics system you can power it with this DC to DC converter and entirely skip the use of a battery but understand that it needs lots of sunshine to use these all right you need direct sunshine all the time for these to work so I hope you guys like these these are really fun to use and I like experimenting with them check out the links below and I'll talk to you guys later see ya